Hello guys, may isa akong tanong sa inyo. Takot ba kayong mamatay? Ako nga ako tatanungin ninyo, syempre. Um, pag-iisip pa natin. <laughs> Kasi depende yan kung kayo ay... Lahat naman tayo pupunta tayo doon eh. Depende na lang po kung anong araw, anong oras, hindi po natin masasabi. Pero, ang masasabi ko, kailangan lagi tayong handa sa sarili natin. Dahil lahat tayo'y mamamatay. So, ang pag-uusapan po natin ngayon is regarding sa SSS Death Benefit. Bago tayo mag-umpisa, bigyan niyo po ako ng isang magandang ngiti. Dahil ang pag-uusapan natin ngayon ay tungkol sa kamatayan. Kamatayan na may beneficyo na may ibibigay ang ating social security system. Okay guys, I will introduce my name again. My name is Paolo Garces. Isang accountant at businessman. So, ang ating pag-uusapan regarding today sa ating video na ito at isang vlog na ito ay tungkol sa mga namatay na member ng SSS. Ano nga ba ang makukuha ng isang member ng SSS kapag siya ay namatay? Okay guys, so ano ba ang makukuha ng isang SSS member kapag siya ay namatay? Pag-usapan natin ngayon at ngayon. Okay guys, ito ang ibig sabihin or ibig sabihin or meaning ng cash death benefit. Ang death benefit is a cash benefit granted either as a monthly pension or a lump sum amount to the beneficiaries of deceased member. So ibig sabihin, may benefit ang isang SSS member na namatay na makakapag makakuha ang kanyang mga beneficiary through lump sum or monthly pension. Paano maka-qualify ang isang member sa death benefit? Okay. To qualify for either, the member must have met the following. Number one, for pension, the deceased member must have paid at least 36 monthly contribution before the semester of death. So, ibig sabihin, bago siya mamatay, kailangan updated, ay, updated po siya ng 36 month contribution para ma-qualify po siya sa lam or sa pension pension or monthly pension po number two for lump sum amount granted to the primary beneficiaries of a deceased member who had paid at less than 36 months monthly contribution before the semester of death also in absence of the primary beneficiary the secondary beneficiaries are granted the death benefit in lump sum amount Okay, there are two types of debt benefit paid to beneficiaries of member. Monthly pension, ito is ito ay granted only to the primary beneficiaries of a deceased member who had paid 36 monthly contribution before the semester of debt. So, ito yung sinasabi ko po sa inyo na ang, uh, ang qualify lang po sa monthly pension is the primary beneficiaries. And lump sum amount, amount granted to the primary beneficiaries of deceased member who had paid less than 36 monthly contribution before the semester of death, the secondary beneficiaries shall be entitled a lump sum benefit. So, dito naman sa lump sum amount, primary then, or sorry, 36 month din, kailangan updated po ang ating contribution before the semester of death and also primary beneficiaries din. Pero, um, entitled naman po dito yung secondary in case of the absence of the primary beneficiaries. Okay, so what is the application requirements to claim the debt benefit? Um, debt benefits. Number one is debt claim application SSS form DDDR1. Number two, affidavit of debt benefit. 
If claimant is secondary beneficiaries, SSS form CLD 1.3A. Final affidavit, sino pa ang sa laysay? Other affidavit, which is applicable. If in case that uh, kailangan lang din ng mga ibang requirements or documents regarding dito sa uh, ano, affidavit, una is the joint affidavit of two disinterested person if claimant is legal here or designated beneficiary. So, ito, uh, nangyayari lang naman ito kapag once hindi po available yung primary beneficiaries na naka-declare po sa kanyang SSS information. So, number two, application for appointment or representative paying if claimant is guardian. Kung sakali, uh, nawala po lahat, then minor na lang po yung natira, uh, yung claimant, Uh, yung guardian po ang kailangan mag-claim pero kailangan po uh, appointment siya, uh, may appointment of representative as a claim ito po yung sinasabi natin kapag once na naiwan na lang po ulila yung bata o yung minor Number 5, report of death. Kailangan if ano pipil up natin yung SSS form BPN 105. If death is work related, kung nangyari man ito sa trabaho, tapos bigla siya inatake, o nabagsakan, kung sa construction man ito inunyari. So, kailangan mag-fill up ang mga beneficiary ng ganito. Number 6, claimant photo signature form and valid IDs. If claimant is spouse of the deceased, marriage certificate and birth certificate of minor children duly certified by LCR or NSO or PSA. Number eight, if single, the deceased member birth certificate and marriage certificate of parents duly certified by LCR, NSO or PSA. Number nine, certified true copy of deceased member. Death Certificate Certified issued by LCR and SOO Member died in the Philippines Issued by Vital Statistics Census Office of or Equivalent Agency And certified by the Philippine Embassy Consultant If member died abroad for the OFW member Number 10 For persons, single savings account For per, sorry, number 10, for pension, single savings account, passbook, or ATM card with validated deposit slip or cash card enrollment form, photocopy, and presentation of original for validation. Please take note, other documents may be required as they may be found necessary during the processing of the claim. So, always uh, ready kung sakali man may ipahanda ko ang SSSM. Okay, paano po ang filing procedure? Filing procedure is uh, anywhere uh, anywhere or any SSS branch or representative office na kailangan nyo pong ibigay lahat ng nakompleto nyo yung requirements. So, uh, wala, pong, wala na pong delay dito kung sakaling kompleto na po yung mga requirements. Kaya make sure po kompleto po ha para maiwasan po yung delaying or delay of process ng death claim and a death benefit or monthly pension or lump sum. Okay, the benefit computation naman tayo. Sa benefit computation naman, um, the monthly depends on the member paid contribution. His credit years of ser services or CYS and the number of dependent minor children that must not exceed 5. So, uh, until 5 lang po, hindi po pwede tayong mag-exit ng 5. Uh, the monthly pension will be the highest amount resulting from either one of the of these three pension formula. Number one, the sum of 300 pesos plus 20% of the average monthly salary credit plus 2% of the average monthly salary credit for each credited year of services in excess of 10 years kung sakali naka 120 months of contribution po siya. Number 2, 40% of average monthly salary credit. Number 
1000 pesos if the CYS or credited years of service less than 10 1200 naman kung sakaling at least 10 CYS or 2400 if the CYS is more 20 or more Okay, please take note the monthly pension is paid for not less than 60 months. So, ang monthly pension is hindi siya lalagpas ng 60 months. Okay, so pag-usapan natin yung mga de ano, dependent at beneficiary. So, dito medyo nagkakaroon ng mga pauntring <coughs> tanong-tanong dahil so kailangan po ang beneficiary so dependent ay kompleto rin po ng requirements. Okay, if a deceased member is survived by less than 5 minor legitimate, legitimate or legally abducted children, the illegitimate minor children will be entitled to 50% of share of legitimate, legitimate or legally adopted in the basic pension and 100% of the dependent allowance. So, ibig sabihin, Sa limang minor legitimate, 50% lang po ang mapupunta sa kanila. Then, uh, meron rin po siya ng 1% of dependent allowance. In case where there are no legitimate, legitimate or legally adopted children, the illegitimate minor children shall be entitled to 100% of the basic pension plus dependent allowance. So, ibig sabihin po dito kung sakaling wala naman pong legitimate dito o yung mga nabanggit po ang illegitimate minor minor naman ay makakuha na 100% ng basic pension po na makukumpiyon. The story you are about to hear is true. Dependent allowance naman po ang pag-uusapan natin. Ang um, dependent allowance ay the dependent legitimate, legitimate, legally adopted or illegitimate children conceived on or before the death date of death of a deceased member will each receive a dependent allowance equivalent to 10% of the member's monthly pension or 250 pesos, whichever is higher. Uh, so, ito allowance po ng dependent po ito ha. So, makukuha niya lang is 10% based on the basic pension or 250 pesos, whichever is higher. Next, only 5 minor children beginning from the youngest are entitled to the dependent allowance. No substitution is allowed. Okay, so please take note ito na wala pong substitution ng mangyayari. Eh? are more than 5 legitimate and illegitimate minor, the legitimate shall be preferred. So, ibig sabihin lang dito, ang mga legitimate lang po yung may karapatan muna na makakuha ng mga nabanggit pong nating benefits. The dependent allowance stop when the child reaches 21 years old, get married, gets employed, or does, dies. However, the dependent pension is granted for life Two children who are over 21 years old provided they are incapacitated and incapable, incapable of self-support due to physical or mental defects which is congenital and acquired during minority. So, malinaw dito na until 21 years old, hinto na po yung pension na makukuha or depende po na if ever ang minor or 21 years old, incapable po siya, hindi po niya kayang suportahan sarili niya. Continuous po yan. Lifetime. Okay, ang other benefits naman po, pag-usapan po natin, the deceased member, beneficiaries are entitled to a 13-month pension payable every December and the funeral benefit, which is paid to whoever shoulder the funeral expenses of, or of the deceased member. Okay, survivor pensioner prior to the effectivity of RS 7875 on March 4, 1995 are also entitled to the hospitalization benefits under PhilHealth. They need to register under PhilHealth and must submit the DDR 
spring out, indicating the type of rain. Three survivorship in nature and effectivity date of pension or a copy death survivorship certification issued by the SSS indicating effectivity that pension shall be submitted to the health. Okay? So, hindi ko na siya tatagalun. Okay, the other one, supervision, uh, survivorship pensioner under the effectivity of RR 7875 on March 4, 1995 and hereafter are no longer covered. However, those who wish to avail of field health benefits may enroll to individually. Okay guys, pag-usapan natin ang benefit payment. Kapag once na nakompleto na po, na-approve na po tayo sa SSS office mismo, then, uh, kailangan lang natin i-provide yung kailangan na uh, kailangan lang natin i-provide yung mismong designated bank na papasukan po ng monthly pension or lump sum. So, kayo po mismo ang pipili ng inyong gustong bangko na pasukan ng mga nabanggit na ito. Hindi po, hindi po mangingilam si SSS kung saan po niya kailangan ipasok ito. So, kayo po mismo ang kailangan mag-decide kung saan bandang bangko ipapasok ang mga benefit nito. So, be, ano na lang po, maging prepared na lang po din kayo dito na kailangan meron na rin po talaga kayong bangko para mapadali po at iwas delay na rin po ng process ng mga beneficyo na ito. Okay. Kung sakali nakapagbukas sa kayo ng mga bangko ninyo, kailangan ninyo ipapotocopy yung passbook at yung ATM ninyo para ito ipapasa ninyo mismo sa SSS office. Please take note po yan ha. Iserox po ninyo yung harap ng ATM at ang passbook. Okay. The ATM and passbook kailangan o take Ang ATM at passbook kailangan on dedicated copy po siya or may tatak po siya na certified. Maybe patatakan nyo na rin ng certified, certified true copy yung Xerox sa mismong bangko. Para at least wala na po question sa si SSS sa inyo at tuloy-tuloy na po yung process. Okay. Kung sakali ma-approve na po yung ating debt benefit, uh, complete na po. Uh, so, si SSS magbibigay po ng notice voucher sa ang Notice voucher na ini-inform po kayo na okay na po, uh, tapos na po, 100% na po, pwede na po i-withdraw yung pumasok na lump sum or monthly pension sa inyong mga bangko. Maraming salamat guys na andito pa rin kayo sa video na ito. Dahil kung andito pa rin kayo dito sa video na ito, ibig sabihin tinapos nyo po ang ating video na ito. Again, video na ito. So, maraming salamat kung nakatulong po ang impormasyon na ito at video na ito. Eh, give me a thumbs up. Eh, kung hindi naman, give me a thumbs down. Please don't forget to click the subscribe button and hit the notification. Bell.